We're going to read Isaiah 58, verses 6 to 12. It's a little bit long, but not so, so long. Isaiah 58, starting in verse 6, the Bible says, Is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen, to loose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free and break every yoke? Is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter? When you see the naked, to clothe them and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood? Then your light will break forth like the dawn and your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go before you, and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Then you will call, and the Lord will answer. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You will cry for help, and he will say, here I am. That's the name of God. Here I am. Praise God. If you do away with the yoke of oppression, with the pointing finger and malicious talk, and if you spend yourself in behalf of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness and your night will become like the noonday. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. Your people will rebuild the ancient ruins and will raise up the age-old foundations. You will be called repairer of broken walls, restorer of streets with dwellings. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I would like you to consider once more what would happen as we fast corporately, as a church, together this January, and even afterwards. I believe, because we read it right now, Isaiah 58, I believe that during this fast, we will experience the following. The bonds of wickedness will be broken. How many of you believe this word? Amen. If you do believe it, say amen or clap your hands. This is the word of the Lord. The heavy burdens will be undone. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe it and I'm proclaiming it. The oppressed will go free. Every kind of oppression. We will be free from any and every kind of oppression. And that's why I praise the Lord. The yoke will be broken. Anything that keeps you with the head down will be broken before our own eyes. My brothers, my sisters, that's why I praise the Lord. We will be a blessing to those that really need it. And we read it just now. We will share our bread with those that are hungry. We will bring home the poor and that are rejected. We will cover those that don't have clothes, that need clothes. And we will not hide from those that will ask for help. My brothers, my sisters, wouldn't, wouldn't it be amazing to think that you and I can make an eternal difference in the life of another person? Amen. That's what fasting can do. Yes. During this time of the pandemic, I have seen how many people are under oppression. During this time of this pandemic, there are many people that are carrying heavy burdens. 
and I see their suffering. They are carrying yokes. Many people have their heads down. There are people not far, no, that are not far from us that are hungry. What breaks my heart is that there are people that are even lonely. There are people that are poor and rejected, cold, and some of them are even ashamed, embarrassed to ask for help. My brothers, my sisters, when we make a sacrifice such as a day of fasting, we can grow closer to God. And when we grow closer to God, then we can feel compelled to take action and help others. We can become a source of blessing. When we are closer to God, we can share God's love with everybody, even those that consider us their enemies. 